get a new story. So what is the RYA? Um, the RYA is the governing body um, for boating in the UK. How does it work? Um, it's a member organisation, so anybody who's involved in any type of boating um, can come along and become a member. Um, and for that, they get various benefits. Um, they also get um, the availability of a, of a huge ex lot of experience from, from various um, employees of the, R the RYA. Um, and the uh, subscriptions that they pay go to um, promote boating in the UK. What advice could you expect to give to a novice sailor or somebody just starting out? We set the syllabus for all the courses um, and we recognise training centres so if somebody wants to teach our courses then they, um, they, they need to be recognised by us so that we go along and inspect them on an annual basis, make sure that what they're doing is up to our standards, that the boats are up to the standard, that the instructors are all well trained and delivering the courses as we would like to see them delivered. And what qualifications and certificates do you offer? Well, it, various ones. Um, on dinghy sailing, we, we start from real basics so that if somebody's never been in a boat before, then we'll take them and, and after sort of doing a, a, a week's course, then they would be reasonably competent to sail a dinghy in, in light winds. We also do um, yacht sailing from um, crew beginners right up to our yacht master scheme and the same with power boating and motor cruising so we cover a wide variety and also of course windsurfing. Why are these qualifications important? Um, well they're not, they're not, they're not um, essential, they're not required, anybody in the UK can buy a boat and, and go float without any qualifications at all but obviously what we try to do is persuade people to come along and do the courses, it makes them safer and it makes their time on the water much more enjoyable really if they know what they're doing and they know that they're safe. So they're important in that respect. So what does it mean to have these qualifications? When you go onto the water that you're going to be much safer, you're going to understand the sort of, you know, I don't say the dangers but um, you know what could go wrong and um, it also means that you understand the rules of the road, the sort of safety equipment that you need to put on the boat, how to navigate, how to sail, so that, that's, that's their sort of true importance. So how does one get into sailing? <laughs> Um, well, you could do it through a number of different ways. Um, if you're looking at dinghy sailing, then probably your local sailing club, or through one of the recognised sailing centres. Same.